This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 20 to 24. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Next, Jesus let fly on the cities where he had worked the hardest, but whose people had responded the least, shrugging their shoulders and going their own way. Doom to you, Chorazin. Doom, Bethsaida. If Tyre and Sidon had seen half of the powerful miracles you have seen, they would have been on their knees in a minute. At judgment day, they'll get off easy compared to you. and Capernaum with all your peacock strutting you are going to end up in the abyss if the people of Sodom had had your chances the city would still be around at judgment day they will get off easy compared to you the gospel of the lord reflections on the gospel according to st matthew Chapter 11 verses 20 to 24 We do agree that God works miracles in our lives and we might go on with our poetic language and say every moment of our life is a miracle of God Yes indeed but what is important is to determine how do we respond to God's miracles the signs and wonders of Jesus in the gospels we are always with a purpose to elicit a response from the people a change of behavior a conversion of heart after healing the lepers or the paralyzed we listen to jesus saying do not sin again jesus never worked a miracle to impress but only to convert a heart back to god or to bring people into deeper union with god Even in the Old Testament the signs and wonders worked by Yahweh were intended to bring about a response of faith and trust from Israel but the people of Israel and the listeners of Jesus became so accustomed to these signs losing sight of their purpose thus in the gospel today we hear Jesus raising a warning for the people They refused to pay attention to the message of God and failed to change their behavior and return to God. Jesus sounds frustrated on the time and energy he spent on them going wasted. Like a gardener who planted and cared for the fig tree gets frustrated when the tree failed to produce fruits. The words of Jesus were an attempt to encourage his hearers conversion by shocking them. Matthew while writing his gospel had in the back of his mind those synagogues of Antioch that had turned their backs on the Christian message therefore he makes use of the words of Jesus to discourage any laxity or negligence in faith and encourage perseverance of the members of his own community this leads us to think what about us how many opportunities invitations to growth to change to conversion how i received from god through multiple channels and people do i take responsibility do i listen or am i like the cities of karasin and bethsaida or kapernaum stiff-necked and hard-hearted the worst attitude that we hold on to is our refusal to accept that we are sinners and not wanting to regret not wanting to convert not wanting to change and not wanting to grow there is no sin however serious it may be which god cannot forgive the word of god wants us to pay attention to voices and signs of god and amend our ways to move closer to him <laughs>